Sorry. I can see Navin. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Great. And once again, uh, welcome everyone for another session of our bootcamp. Uh, so myself, Navi, uh, been in marketing cloud space for almost a decade. So uh, working currently for sixth in Germany. And then uh, I also have a blog called Salesforce Fan where I write some blogs about marketing cloud. Uh, so yeah, so this is all about our intro, but uh, yeah, maybe funny uh, if you can have so, your intro. Yeah, thanks, Naveen. Uh, hi, everyone. Myself, Anindra, and I'm a chief technology evangelist. I'm a Salesforce MVP. And today, uh, me and Naveen would love to talk about uh, how to create a custom journey builder activity and how to create the entire application hosting and environment and then how to install the package in marketing cloud. And then we can showcase everything, how the entire prototype and entire code, everything look like. And apart from a group leader for Singapore marketers, like chapter, I'm a marketing champion and I have X amount of certifications. I'm a MarTech architect as well. And you can follow me on Twitter at RG Chetha, and then you can follow me in LinkedIn as well. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks, Sunny. Uh, yeah, so just moving on. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get to our today, today's agenda, right? So today we are going to talk about custom journey builder activity uh, what is about that and then first of all why do we need to use or when do we have to use custom journey builder activity and then architecture of how custom journey builder activity behaves right and to set up a custom jb activity what all do you need and uh, uh, a demo uh, which we have with some custom journey builder activity right so this is what we we will talk about for today so first of all uh, you might be wondering okay so i if you know first of all what is journey builder then uh, it's well and good for those uh, who who may not be knowing what is journey builder so journey builder is like a um, uh, process flow uh, wherein you can able to automate uh, uh, the things in marketing clouds using different types of activities you can send email and wait for certain days or hours and then send SMS and uh, basically you can use for cross communication uh, uh, channel for targeting customers. Uh, so that's about journey. Now, uh, having said that, uh, uh, now what is like uh, introduction to custom journey builder activities about? So in general, journey builder comes uh, with some uh, activities which is readily available by out of box, uh, right? For example, wait for a day or send email, SMS, and things like that so but but then uh it, wherein we we could able to use it most of the activities uh in in our uh, industries whichever industries that we work right but but then there could be some potential use cases with, which might comes in uh always uh the which which is not specific it, it could be specific to an industry or it could be a specific to com company or it can be a specific to use case right so at that point of time uh, there could be a use case where it could the normal uh, journey builder activities couldn't able to handle that so in that case we have to go with the custom uh, journey builder activity so in general it's basically um, you can create a solution uh, um, solution outside of marketing cloud and you host the solution in a platform and you can connect that platform to a journey builder so that uh, it, it the integration can be seamless uh, uh, you can pass the data uh, from journey builder to the custom activity and to the application which you are trying to use and the application can send the response back to your uh, uh, to the platform and to the journey builder so in that case the uh, integration can be very uh, seamless, right? So uh, th th that's about the uh, custom journey builder activity. So now, uh, okay, so first of all, why custom uh, uh, journey builder activity? So as I mentioned earlier, like um, it, 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 most of the function or uh, functionalities provided by marketing cloud works fine for all the industries, but then that could be always be, you will end up into some cases where it's not possible. Uh, and and uh, now with the help of this custom journey builder activity, um, yeah, it, it, it is possible uh, to some extent again, right? So wherein you can host the solution uh, outside of marketing cloud and then you can integrate with marketing cloud. So so that's that's what it is uh, why we need to use right so then uh, if if you want to look at custom journey builder activities 
architecture so how how do uh, does it work in general so uh, so let's say in, in the blue blue, blue uh, color you have a journey builder uh, uh, and inside the journey builder you will have a custom activity right but in this case um, you have a data extension in the journey builder as a source or you have an api event in the journey builder as a source or salesforce data event uh, even as a source right so so then uh, the data have to go back to first uh, go it has to go back to the custom activity which is nothing but it is hosted in the heroku so in this case let's say the data is like uh, uh, customer phone number uh, or the message that you would like to send to the customer goes back so we'll take an example of our uh, viber so if you want to send a viber message to a customer so in this case uh, your customer mobile number and the message that you would like to send um, will have to uh, pass from the uh, mobile number have to pass to the custom activity so in the custom activity you can able to configure a screen right so which will which will look into it so wherein you can able to type in your messages and things like that so the messages uh, are also present and it is the application is just hosted uh, you can host it in some platform which is like Heroku or aws then uh, once you get that and once the data gets in right then it can uh, then the application process the request and then it sends to the uh, request to external system or users right so uh, in this case of viber it will it will have a it will call the viber api and to call out the viber message to a particular users and this uh, api returns back the response and uh, your application can able to capture the response transfer it or uh, you can do the retries you know so depending upon what response you get so these things uh, the retry mechanism and other transformations are already handled in this your custom uh, application right so so then um, uh, so then it returns back to the custom activity in jb and then uh, uh, it returns the success or error response so that uh, it lets marketers also know whether the message you sent has been failed or success right so that uh, that's what here uh, this architecture is talking about so in general uh, the data passes we call it as an in argument uh, in in the structure so uh, with your mobile data and you you type in the message and th those things all gets to the application and then uh, it calls the api and it re returns the response you you do the all the error handling mechanism there and then it it comes back to the journey builder as an out argument in that you return a success or error response and that will display the error status in the, uh, status in the journey builder so yeah so in general this is like a high level architecture of uh, um, uh, journey builder right so uh, with of uh, custom uh, activity so uh, having said that uh, now uh, okay so i know uh, on a high level how these things works but uh okay so now i have a use case which cannot be achieved by uh custom uh, journey builder activity so in that case uh what can i uh how should i get started right so so for that first you need to um, have these things uh to use the custom journey builder activity so first thing is like obviously you need a uh, journey builder so you should be having an addition of uh, uh, corporate or professional or uh, uh, enterprise version of marketing cloud except basic because in basic you don't have a journey builder so first of all you need to have a, a journey builder and then you have to have an application with of the below structure so the application uh, is divided into four parts right where uh, you have this index.html uh, which we show it in the demo that's where you create a ui um, inside the journey builder itself and then you have this config.json where i was talking about here in argument and out argument so you have to you will configure all those things over there and what happens when you click on save in journey builder what needs to do when you click on validate in journey builder so and what happens when you click on activate in journey builder so in the config.json you will have a json for each thing and it has to return the response for each thing then it can proceed for the next activity then you have this custom activity.js where you will this is where you'll write all your code uh, in in that right so uh, you you will call this uh, 
marketing cloud related functions on on trigger uh, things like that uh, so this is where uh, you will be able to call this custom activity the js which communicates so in this case um, this application can be in uh, node js or java or uh, any framework uh, but it has to follow the structure and lastly you have this image folder wherein um, you need to have an icon uh, in, in in the journey builder so for the icon purpose you you can use this uh, image folder so this is uh, your application uh, here you can create it as a local or something but but then when you want to connect to a marketing cloud you obviously you need to have a platform to host the application which is like a Heroku or uh, AWS Lambda which is a funny uh, can able to explain much further on that um, but yeah so in general if you want to use a custom JB activity you need to use uh, you need to have the minimum of uh, all these things uh with that uh, uh yeah so maybe we can have a quick demo so uh funny uh would you like to share thanks Tavin, for the entire details but before i would love to you know demonstrating the entire demo of building an application and then hosting the application to any any environment either heroku or aws so i would like to talk about a couple of use cases as well why we require this custom journey builder activities of course Navin have been Navin has demonstrated in such a way that you know so why we require the journey builder activity. But on a high level, I would love to explain a couple of other details. And after that, I would love to take care and then showcase how we can build an application inside Node.js, or you can use your Java, or you can use your other Python frameworks. But let me share my screen before I'm going to explain that. So if you look at our, our you know, typical enterprise use case or typical our normal day-to-day -day use case because uh, in Journey Builder, so we have two uh, different kind of a channels available where you can drag and drop those uh, omni channels for you to orchestrate your journey for the customer experience. So currently we do have a messaging, we do have uh, out of the box marketing cloud, we have WhatsApp and we do have uh, SMS, we do have an email. And we do have a uh, ad campaign, right? So these kind of things which comes out of the box where we can easily drag and drop those events into our journey builder, right? But the question is, there are some customers, especially in different regions altogether, especially in Southeast Asia. So there are customers who really wanted to implement uh, our channels to you know communicate their customers to increase their conversion rates and increase their marketing uh, efficiencies. So uh, there are some channels where marketing cloud currently not supporting. Those are Viber, WeChat, and uh, and uh, if you look at Line. So each and every channel, Viber is most famous in Philippines, Indonesia, and other countries. WeChat is very famous in Taiwan, China, because ninety percent of their users are using WeChat, and Line is the one of the channel where uh, you know Cambodia and other Southeast Asia countries are mostly using it. So especially these are all the channels where. Southeast Asia customers have been more preferred, the preferred way of uh, doing and handling things. So if you look at, uh, you know, from a customer centric perspective, so if you look at a customer receives a message uh, or SMS or uh, WhatsApp, so ideally like 10% of uh, this uh, Southeast Asia region customers are going to open the SMS or uh, WhatsApp. But if you look at uh, while sending the message from uh, WeChat or Viber or Line, so there is a 90% of conversion rates, 90% of customers or the users are more, uh, you know, uh, more looking messages. But they use their day-to-day -day activities in WeChat as well, their company, their communications, the broadcast messages, all those messages, customers really wanted to leverage these kind of a communication channels rather than prefer of these channels, especially in Southeast Asian market. Now, Currently, we don't have you know a kind of a program or we don't have any channel supporting currently in marketing cloud uh, to implement Viber WeChat line. So, in order to eliminate all these elements, so we come up with a solution which is nothing but our custom journey builder activity. So, how we can generate, how we can design custom journey builder activity. So, how to design custom journey builder activity for Viber, WeChat, and and line messages, the line channels. So, the biggest question. Where do I start? So do we have anything that I would love to start about it? Where do I start? So where you can start uh, different communication things. The step number one word uh, Naveen has been articulated. So you have an option where you have to design an application first. Because every every system that what you're hosting at, so you have to build an application. So that application, if you talk about it on line by line step, 
So the step number one, you have to build an application. Build an application either Node.js or, or your own Java or, or any other uh, UI level supporting application, supporting languages. So in our use case, we leverage our Node.js because Node.js is a preferable because number one thing is, why we design an application, why we require a Node.js application? Because this application requires an UI because if you look at this, our, our journey, our journey altogether, when you design any journey in marketing cloud, so let's take an example, you drag and drop your, your complete SMS into your journey. So you drag and drop, so it'll ask you, choose template, choose template, and it'll ask you, uh, you know, the, the sources where you can trigger from entry level source data extension, or you could use API entry sources or something like that, right? So the same concept, once you open any of this channel, let's consider we build a, a, a application called Viber. So we build a UI, we acquired a UI to configure for the customers. It should be more neat and clean. You should have a flexibility within when you, once you drag and drop a Viber custom journey activity. So you should have a placeholder where you can go and then put it, uh, you know, a different kind of thing where you can, you can just leverage a pure uh, just choose message or enter message which is not more than 160 characters, the kind of limitations where you want to keep it. And then you should keep what kind of arguments, what kind of source D you want to select, because they, that's what we're calling as our, our source data extension. Within the data extension, we have input and output parameters. We need to define like what are all the input parameters. Your input parameter is always your uh, uh, source, your, your ID of Viber, your mobile number, right? So your output parameters are what kind of output parameters you would love to showcase. So this input output parameters, you no need to display. It is just for your programmatic purpose for your testing at a later point of time. And then you have an option to see uh, the respective D that what you selected as well. So you can see a kind of a UI you have to build it. So this, this UI we are designing inside Node.js application, right? So in order to bring this UI, we are designing a Node.js application. So in the Node.js application, if you look at my VS code, so I have a different kind of a modules altogether. I have my app.js, the application JavaScript, which have built a Node.js. And I have my uh, logger where I'm logging all the messages for the better uh, efficiency of an API platform. And we have, you know, the most important thing is every system, every system, either it is, uh, you know, Viber, WeChat, or, or line messages, line messages. So you require an API. That's why we required it because and the other thing is where you want to build your own SMS thing also, because Twilio is one of the most preferred you know, API partner for a lot of the customers. Even in Twilio also, you could be able to design that, a custom journey activity. If you don't have a costing in SMS for Maya Marketing Cloud, then you can go and then, you know, design a similar kind of custom journey builder activity for SMS as well. So look at this. Every channel, you have to depend upon your third party, right? Third party systems, who they build an APIs. Uh, ready-made APIs. So in this scenario, so we have a couple of uh, third-party systems called, you know, Promotexer. So who provides APIs for Viper? And there are other systems who provides an API for Line, WeChat. So we are, you know, uh, looking the third-party vendors who design the APIs for us. What we do is we're going to use their APIs. We're going to use their APIs because these vendors already provide some fallback messages as well. Nothing but if a person is, they didn't see the Viber messages, Viber messages in a, you know, uh, in the next 60 days or something. So you have an option to send SMS as well. So those kind of things that the end party, you know, the API team who's going to leverage, who's going to provide is for us to manage more, uh, better orchestration. But when I look to your VS code, so we have a logger.js where we are logging all the messages. This is my app, the custom journey builder activity for Viber, because this is Viber application we have built it. And then we have the promo extra. This is the one we are talking about for you know logging all the messages. We are imported the uh, the respective logger.js library, and at the same time we you know configure the request responses with uh, what kind of messages you want to respond. We request what is the callback URL or even back all even back URL. What is the requested data that you are sending out from the payload messages, and why how we configuring the SMS if the if a respect to payload has been failed. So you have the libraries available where you could leverage it, and then you can build the code. And when it comes to your API, uh, this is where we're going to leveraging for uh, uh, the respective request payload. While initiating the request payloads, we are calling our for we're calling our authentication, you know, parameters to identify and get the token from marketing cloud. Especially apart from this, we have the config.json. 
And this is the placeholder where we are defining the custom activity, everything. So how we can design the, you know, the respective URLs for the request headers, uh, what is the host details and all this stuff. And we have this index.html, which calls about your UI, the UI that what we're talking about, what is the header, what is the footer, and uh, what is the sizes, everything that inside. Uh, now we will showcase how the UI look like for Viber while configuring. And we do have other, especially on the images for designing, you know, once you have an image inside your uh, uh, journey builder, right? Once you drag and drop your uh, WhatsApp SMS, you have the logo of the image. So the same thing for Viber, we could design the images in application. So this is the uh, where you can keep all the images. And index.js is the one which you could see the complete connectivity, how to connect, how to you know configure the connectivity of uh, you know the Viber, how to connect the marketing cloud to get the request trigger event definition because this is what your your marketing cloud request trigger definition which handles the entire activity of uh, the journey, and you could talk here the parent time frame that what we have designed for request trigger event definition. And these are all some of the activity objects from the payload to understand the in argument out argument. The in argument is the one which the source data extensions. Uh, this is the console that we are capturing all the logs. And these are all the attributes that we call calling from marketing cloud. And uh, and uh, so there's a whole lot of code where you have to keep and then you have to design uh, complete stuff. And we do have other uh, elements, especially on uh, uh, configurable parameters. Those are all comes under your app.json. So this app.json, which comes with uh, just the name of the app description and the keywords. So there is a package.json, which you can package it uh, for the entire whole lot of uh, whole application. And then you can deploy it to different uh, environments, either Heroku or AWS or any other platforms. So ideally, you know, as a, as a team, you have to build everything uh, and then you have to package it. So once you're ready yet, then you have an option where you can go and then, uh, you know, uh, deploy this entire application into your Heroku using a uh, pipelines. So in Heroku, if you look at uh, different kind of uh, uh, systems you have, so you have an option where you can go and then I'm just showcasing one of my uh, an existing kind of a thing, uh, but it's just a sample app where you can go and then, you know, you can use, you have your, once you design your applications, you have an option to click on deploy and then you can create a pipeline because I've not created a pipeline here. You have an option to create a pipeline and then you can connect the entire code to github and then you can deploy your uh, application to a github once you define and deploy the app to a github so you have an option to define the respective resources uh what kind of resources you want to define for the dinos dinos are required to run the application uh, from a heroku standpoint and with the heroku uh, we have the logging mechanism also available and uh, once you deploy this app Automatically, app will give an option to you know find out uh, the configurable variables, the endpoint URLs. You can look at your Heroku uh, Git URLs. It could reveal the respective configurable variables at what you define because this is a placeholder where you could configure all your marketing cloud credentials to support your uh, uh, the end server from marketing cloud. And then here you will define any SSL certificates for more security as well. So these are all some of the things, and you can see once it is done, you'll get the final domain, the app where it's running it. So these are app that what we are hosting directly now uh, to marketing cloud. So once I design, deploy this application uh, to Heroku and the application running smoothly with the different dynos, I'm gonna hand it over this installation URL to Naveen. So what Naveen will showcase is, he'll showcase how we can install this entire package inside marketing cloud. So over to you Naveen, so that you can showcase how uh, a package will be installed into marketing cloud and then how do you can configure a journey activity and then send messages. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Fanny, uh, for the demo. Um, let me just quickly share the screen. Okay, so uh, so now, uh, assuming that uh, Fanny has uh, shared the uh, URL, right? So uh, then uh, what you have to come over here is that uh, so once the Heroku set up and you create a package and application and host it in the Heroku. So then you can go to this install packages, right? And then um you can click on new and in this case you can give something for yourself and then uh, give a name and then you have to add a component. So in this component, you have to have a, a journey builder activity as your uh, component. Then you select the category. Uh, so name that, so in this case, Viber 
community. So in this case, the URL which uh, Fani have entered, so that one you have to provide it over here. So it can be from Heroku or AWS. So uh, the URL which uh, um, yeah, which it gives you, you have to give it here. That's where the connection gets established between the Journey Builder and uh, the Heroku. Uh, so here you you can you have different types of uh, uh, categories basically. So messages are the one which. Uh, we are going to do for Viber because we are going to send out a Viber, but that could be a, a flow. For example, uh, let's say I have certain days and I would like to exclude if the communication is is going to be sending on that particular day. I want to exclude. So in that in those type of use cases, you can create some flow control, which is like a decision splits. Uh, or you can also use this custom one, which is which can be used for all three of it. Just you can just basically set custom and then do it. Or you want to update some data extension and things like that, then you can you can use this customer update. But in this case, you can just select here and then uh, show the endpoint and click on save. Then automatically that will get pop up in your journey builder. So let's say if I click on a new uh, journey builder. Uh, so in this case, uh, we already have it over here as a Viber integration, which uh, Funny have showed. So that's where we have it over here. So, uh, okay, so now I'll just quickly show you the demo. So in this case, uh, we take a um, data extension, right? So which is like Viber demo is our data extension. So we it's a pretty standard uh, data extension where we have email, uh, first name last name one thing is that we have viber id which is nothing but your mobile number uh, in instead of viber id you can also put as a mobile phone or phone number whatever it can be uh, but uh, in order for us to uh, send a viber message you need to have a vi mobile number so in this case this is a mobile number basically so just uh, quickly showing this is the mobile number and then uh, uh let's say i go to the data extension first right and i select that as a source i'll just click on run once okay then i will drag and drop this viber integration so once I click on this one, so this opens uh, a page, right? So this is where, uh, which we talked about uh, index.html, uh, uh, wherein you have your HTML in place and uh, Funny was so showing about uh, the names of UI. So that, that's where these gets uh, created. So once I click on it, this one uh, index.html gets open. Now I need to select the Viber ID key, which is nothing but your mobile number. So in this case, uh, you have to pick uh, pick list. So in this case, whatever the data extension I've selected. So so here there are two two types of attributes. One is like contact attributes and event attributes. So in contact attributes when you want to use. So it's like you have to always link the data extension to the contact attribute. So that's where. And then uh, this is like an event attribute. So for example, you can you can directly um, get all the data from the data extension. So in this case, we'll just select the Viber ID. Um, I want to say welcome to our community session, right? So in this case, I want to personalize. So with the first name. So in this case, I can just say uh, first name, right? So I, I select the first name from the data extension and I will just update it over here. So this is, uh, this is just the personalization string which we have and then welcome to our community session. So if you want to provide an image URL, you can just provide the URL, but for now we'll just keep it as it is and then uh, click on save. Now what happens is like uh, when save is called the config.json load and it checks for uh, what you have it in save. If, if, you if you want to do some checks from backend, if everything is fine or something, and if it's everything is fine, then you return back the response as 200 or status as okay, then it will, it will not throw any error. But if everything is not fine, then you can still throw an error on save also, or you can do it in 
same thing on validate also. So in this case, I need to set an entry mode. So I'll just set it as re entry anytime. Um, and um, community viber demo. Right. So uh, yeah, so I can just validate right now. and i'll just click on activate so what will happen is like uh, it will call the execute uh, uh, function and uh, in that execute function the the architecture which we have explained so uh, it will it will go to the uh, uh, now now the data gets passed to the application application calls the promo texture api and promo texture api call, calls to the end system of viber and uh, so then it returns back the response and then sends back to the journey builder so uh, that's how the flow goes um, but in the meantime just checking okay i think funny answered everything yeah i think uh, i'll may receive but i've not received so far so we can showcase let me share my screen yeah sure uh, so i can showcase uh, so this is a placeholder this is one of my message so if you look at team so just now i received uh, uh so so it's it's little bit back but i received a message from navin welcome to viber demo reply yes if you can interest it. so the good thing in viber is it's a two-way communication supported so when i communicate this thing so uh you know all the communications in you know in my uh app what i'm sending is i'm sending back my complete uh, uh, uh complete details to uh, sfmc back so we have a con we have a configuration that uh, receiving messages and sending replies back to marketing cloud using that replies again you can do a orchestration of a marketing cloud journey in a better way so i mean can you check whether your messages sent or like sometime uh yep Mm, yeah now you can see your team like you know abyss okay dear fanindra welcome to our community session so yeah. when i reply when i reply back to navin so navin will receive a message and then navin will showcase where the sent messages and the complete complete tracking of send data reply data you can see all the data views also from the viber perspective then you can use that uh, data views for building a kps as well so I'm just replying. Thanks, Naveen, and uh, thanks for joining. So this reply goes back to again uh, to Heroku, and from Heroku it will be goes back to Marketing Cloud. Under Marketing Cloud, we are storing the data into one of the data extension. So you can share your screen, Naveen, and I can showcase the replies as well. Yeah, sure, funny. Um... Uh, let me show my screen yeah so Yeah, this is a placeholder where you can see all the delivery sent and everything. So you can see the ID, the respective status, status description, whether the message deliver or not, and the input, whether the customer seen the message or not, what is the event status code, event status description. So using this data again, you can go on and build a, you know, targeting one more, one more channel for if the person didn't look or seen the message for the next 24 hours. Maybe you could design one more, you know, through an SMS, you could target about it, through you know, different WhatsApp channel, you can target about it. So it's all. Uh, you know, targeting the customer with the different channels altogether. Uh, and they are standard attributes. Uh, uh, no, it's not a standard attribute, Lakshmi. It is something that attributes that what we designed based on the third party data model. Because promo text is the one that we are giving the data model for us. So we just designed the same data model inside Marketing Cloud to store all the data. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, so this is like a delivery and whatever, uh, if customer has been response, then 
those responses will will also be uh, storing as a content basically yeah so once you reply there would be a webhook and webhook will uh, from that webhook you will get a response and from that response you will make an api called back to marketing cloud um to add add the records into a data extension but yeah as funny has mentioned uh, different uh, uh, third parties will have their apis as different so we can build the solution according to the how how they have but in general uh, to monitor the delivery rate and um, uh, rejected rate so we can able to see if it's rejected, then it will say wh what's the reason why it's been rejected for a particular number uh, with the status code. If it's delivered, it will say why it's been, uh, I mean, when uh, why it's uh, it's been delivered and whether it's been opened or not. So those things you can able to identify. Um, yeah, uh, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I think Milton for your question, uh, I think for, for designing a custom journey builder activity, Milton, so we required an app. You have to build an app to, you know, to, to talk, to display the UI and to configure the input, output, attributes, and parameters. You have to design an app in any one of the language, either Node.js or any other language libraries who supports UI and other stuff. You have to host the app because uh, without hosting the app, how the respective app and server configuration will work. You have to host the app somewhere, either AWS or Heroku. It is a mandatory step. You have to host the app. And then uh, you have to generate an endpoint URL and then hand over the endpoint URL to Marketing Cloud because Marketing Cloud is your um, is your uh, a source platform where the Heroku is the one which is doing all the job. Heroku is a main activity or uh, the app is a main uh, heart of the application to talk to the source system and then you know capture the input attributes and then deliver it to the customer. From the same time, from customer they're taking the arguments and then sending back to the Salesforce. Yeah, so for I've sent a URL, Milton, you can go through that URL uh, to talk about uh, the sample journey builder custom activity, what they've designed. So it's a marketing cloud, GitHub, which is designed by a lot of other contributors. So we contributed some sort of code inside as well. So probably you could take it, take it up and then you can just try it out as well. Performance is excellent, Nayan. So we don't see any issues with the performance. Performance is top notch. We haven't seen any delay as well. It's really good. Any other questions, team? Any other questions, team? So that's all for custom journey builder activities. So this is the Viber message demo that what we have showcased, but the similar, exactly the similar you can do for rest of the channels as well. Even for Twilio SMS, even for Line, even for WeChat, even for any other channels that your customer wanted to build where they don't have money enough money to purchase marketing code SMS, they could just target for third party SMS and then you can build an app, something like this. So if you have any of your team member who are really good at uh, you know open source framework technology so that the person is easily can build this kind of an activity to support your marketing cloud in-house team as well. No, 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 Nayan. <laughs> Node.js is the one which I... I prefer to have go ahead because it provides a lot of packages so that we can use the packages and libraries to build easily. You could design any other platform as well. You could use your uh, uh, any other supported uh, server client supported kind of frameworks. Maybe you could use your Java. You could use your uh, you know maybe other Angular uh, which support again JS libraries. SSL is not required. SSL is for a high security. Like you know if there there are some enterprise companies comes with a lot of uh, you know compliance requirements. So they test the app and then they, they'll refer as, uh, you know, we want to leverage our, our own SSL to uh, transcript the messages. So in that case, probably could use SSL, but SSL is not the mandatory and we haven't used SSL for any of the customers. Any other questions team? Okay, start then. Uh, thank you so much, Naveen, for uh, for a great demonstration, and would really thank you for. Uh, I've done so many sessions on this bootcamp. Really, thank you for that. I appreciate your lot of effort. Thank you. Any other questions before we close up? Me, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Vani. Thanks for hosting me, and thanks for doing all those uh, bootcamp. Uh, so many sessions are there, so yeah, do watch out, and thanks everyone for attending. Actually.